Water is the foundation of life. Every living thing, plants, animals and humans needs water to survive. In recent times, hand washing with soap and water has been identified as the first line of defense in preventing the spread of the coronavirus disease. For the estimated 1 billion people worldwide who lack access to clean water, the limit of this basic resource can be a matter of life or death. In Ethiopia, Africa's second most populous nation, a government-led comprehensive approach to improved water, sanitation and hygiene has shown great promise as the program embarks on phase two this year. The One Water Sanitation and Hygiene National Program has bolstered the government's ambitious plans to achieve water, sanitation and hygiene for all by 2024. The construction of water supply schemes for rural and urban settings, along with the improvement of more than 30,000 latrines in health facilities, has benefited more than 4.3 million Ethiopians across the country. In line with this, more than a half million children gained access to clean water through nearly rehabilitated water facilities and latrines at schools. Program results stretch far beyond improved water and sanitation with advances visible in community health, education, the local economy and overall productivity. One hour south of Addis Ababa in Jate Kabele, 48-year-old dairy farmer Birhane Habebe says that the arrival of a water pump in her town has resulted in increased milk supplies from her cows that now drink clean water. Earning an average of $60 per week, Birhane smiles as a milk farmer and a mother, thankful for the changes that water has brought into her life. The One Wash National Program has a steering committee chaired by the Ministry of Water, Irrigation and Electricity and also includes the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education and development partners like the African Development Bank, the World Bank, UNICEF, DFID and other stakeholders. The guiding principles of one planning, one budget, one reporting and one consolidated wash account have proven a regional model towards achieving the sustainable development goals. What we are finding from phase one is drought is affecting the wash sector, so it's the wash services. So the, in the phase two, we include new components that is uh, climate resilient wash. In the design of water supply and sanitation or in toilet design, getting this access or to this service. The African Development Bank through the African Development Fund and the Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Initiative has financed $178 million of the total $465 million project cost to implement Phase 1. Funding from all partners is channeled into a consolidated WASH account within the Ministry of Finance. The One Wash National Program intervenes at the community level using a demand-based response approach. Engaging communities from the onset spurs local involvement, fosters community responsibility and ensures that interventions best meet the needs of each local context. Residents in Ethiopia's southern region used to travel up to 9 kilometers to fetch water, even facing off with wild animals while waiting in overnight queues. Now, water points are less than 800 meters away and are managed by local residents who make up the community's wash committee. Wash 
ራሳቸው አርጎ ማለት በደም ማለት ያስተዳድራሉ ዋሽቆቹ ስልጣና ማለት ከዚህም ከጽፈት ቤቲብ እዛ መዳን እዚም ጠርጣን በየአመቱ ማለት በየኳርተሩ ስልጣና እንሰጣለን እነሱ ሙሉን ሐላፍ ተነጥስቶ ገንዘባቸውን በኦሞ አካውንት ያስቀመጡ ከዛ አካውንት ያወጡ ከተበላሽ አጥቃና ምራሳቸውን ማለት እየጠገኑ to afford related fuel fees and water pump maintenance community members pay 10 beer equivalent of 30 cents a month special provisions are made for those who can't afford payments such as the elderly or disabled e projeti leizbu takami hono betoru hine indom maynagari ka quturu balayo betam 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 hizbu indedro indedro malen awun ደሞ ራሱ እናንተ ሲታዩ የህዝቡ ደም በጣም ንጹ ንጹ ደም ነው ያለ ይሄ ፕሮጀክት ከገባ ወዲ ጤና ፈጥሩ ሁኔታ ጤና አገንተናል ወባም ይellem ታይፎድም ይellem ድሮ ጊዜ ግን ታይፎድ አለ ሊዩ ሊዩ በሽቶች አለ ተቅማጥ አለ አሁን ይሄ ፕሮጀክት ከገባ በኋላ እንደው ተቅማጥ ይellem ምንም ነገር አይደለም ሰው ሁሉ ጤናማ ነው እናማ ውሃ ነው የሚጠጣው እብየ ነው እነው እንደው በጣም እኔ የሚያመሰግ ነው 23 year old gizo tafa washes an average of 15 cars per week in tefki town 30 kilometers outside of addis using water from a spout installed in his front lawn እና ዘራውን ያጽኑ በፊት ስራ አይደለንም ነበር ሁለት ጓደኛሞች ሆነን አንድ ላይ ነው ቁልጭ የምንለው አንድ ላይ ነበር የምንለው ስለዚህ ከዚህ በፊት ስራ ስለላሌለን ውሃው የመቅባቱን ስናይ ውሃው ደሞ በቂ ውሃ ስለላለው ከዛ መስራት ስለምንፈልግ ብቻ ስራውን ጀመረ። እሱን የሚያቀብ እግዚአብሔር ነው በእግዚአብሔር ስር ደሞ ነን እነን የተደረጀው ነው በሰፊው መስራት ነው የምፈልገው ሌላ ስራ ማስፋፋት ነው የሚፈልገው። Like him many youth also envision a brighter future for themselves developing business ideas around the newly found water supplies. job creation higher household incomes reduced disease burden healthier populations and increased girls school attendance in ethiopia can all be directly attributed to the one wash national program in light of the coronavirus outbreak it's safe to say that ethiopia's urban and rural populations are safer now than they would have been just a few years prior to the introduction of this program We, we were planning to supply water for uh, nearly 5.9 million people but we have achieved 4.36 million people to uh, to be a beneficiary from the project in terms of water supply both in urban and the rural uh, areas in terms of uh, rural water supply our plan was 3.8 million to uh, to supply for them but we have achieved 3.9 million more than our plan in terms of uh, institutional wash school and health centers Our plan was 10,680 but we have achieved 10,224. Considering the threat posed by coronavirus, phase 2 will also intensify the sanitation component by emphasizing the importance of hand washing with soap. Water supplies will focus on renewable energy such as solar powered water pumps. Schools and health facilities will also be targeted with improved latrines for girls and the disabled.